Epic Leap. And then Dash Boots. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything really fun and interesting to say about this place. Because it's just another underwater hell. Or dungeon. Whichever term you prefer. They both work for me, in my opinion. I mean, dungeons... I mean, you see them all the time in video games, but they're really not meant to be fun. Oh, God. Flip! Aha! I shall... Chuck your buddy at you, crab! Ha ha! Not so. Woo! No. Yeah, I... The vacuum arm, I think, is probably... I would have used it a lot in the other dungeon, too, because it would have made, you know, killing things more profitable, because... God only knows it's a pain in the ass to move around to gather the money after, you know, when the place is flooded and... Yeah, what I say about mimics and crabs in this place? what I tell you? Anyway... How about we shoot the, Shoot the damn crab that's like two feet in front of you, Mega Man. Is it that hard? Anyway... Alright, what was I saying? Oh yeah. But unfortunately in the other place, the drill is just too useful. It's an overpowered weapon. It's yes, it's necessary to get to secret locations. It's just plain awesome. Here though, you don't need the drill, and in fact, it has absolutely no useful purpose. So it therefore it much it behooves me much more to use. Oh god. Whoa. I wasn't expect no. Aim at the treasure chest that's running around. I was expecting one of those ones that starts spewing bombs at you, not one of those ones that gets up and runs at you. I mean, honestly, those are the most fucking weird mimics in this game, because they just, they come out of nowhere. It's like one moment you're standing there, la la la, and then you walk towards the chest, and it just gets up and starts running towards you. I mean, that's just kind of random and unexpected. Let me shoot you so I can go through the door, damn it. There we go. Okay, now time to spend five minutes shooting this guy. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Whee! And get the money, too. Be cool if they had, like, you know, you could use the... Uh, grab arm or whatever that the lifter and I take those guys shields that would be pretty useful hey what do you know it's a crab how did I know there was going to be a crab here ha ha get to drop on you with my own crab what do you think of that, crap? That's what you think of it. You think you're dead. Step up the money. And then, time to wield another almighty crab weapon. See, that's about the best thing about these crabs, you know? They're a pain in the ass to deal with. They make for some mighty fine weaponry. Assuming you can actually hit your target when you throw them at them. Well, no matter. We'll just destroy this crab, flip it over again, and try once more to hit him. Or try to hit this dude. Ow! Or possibly get owned by a crab lying on its back. That totally works too. That's totally an acceptable option. Yeah. Anyway. Woo! Behold the majesty of slow motion jumping and running and crazy shit like that. Oh, screw it. There. Vacuum up all the cash. And then proceed to shoot you in the face as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. I'm great, and then two mimics in a row. You know what? Screw that, I'm not dealing. 
You don't have to fight mimics unless they decide to run at you. So I'm guessing that first one probably will. I'll get a few feet away from it and it will fucking run at me like this crazy man with a knife. I, I just know it. Watch. I'm going, to, I'm going to approach it and it's going to attack me. Oh, whoa. Never seen, like, synchronized mimics before. That's no. Ow. Ow. Quit shooting me in the back with fucking cannonballs, damn it. Or bombs, or whatever the hell those things are. Anyway. Yeah, we'll just go past these two mimics. They're not gonna do anything to us unless we open them. And since we both know they're both mimics, there's no reason to open them. So we'll just make our lives easier. Woohoo! And come dig around another hole in the wall. Get a sensor. Which I cannot remember for the life of me what the hell that does. And then we dash back and go through this door we just passed. But there's a large sum of cash to be found inside this door. And thankfully there's nothing trying to kill us while we find it, if I remember correctly. Oh crap. I apparently do not remember correctly. Oh no matter. This is what crab chucking was made for, right? Crab chucking! Huzzahs! Ow. And I get owned by a crab once again. Ow. Now I didn't want to do a freaking side roll dodge thingy. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. I just perhaps didn't take long enough to kill. Let's run this game at like one third of its frame rate and make things move incredibly slow and then kill more crabs. Yeah. That's my main problem with these underwater areas. It's not that they're, I mean, okay, yeah, fighting underwater isn't exactly fun in and of itself, but the fact that the game just moves so slow, and unfortunately it seems like it's going to be doing that in the rest of this area too with the desert and all that. And at least underwater, it feels natural that you're moving slow, but standing in the desert, not so much. Oh, whatever. Thankfully, I think the desert is a fairly short portion of the game. And then, let's see, this is the way we want to go? Yes, it is! Huzz! And jump! Jump as though your life depended on it, Mega Man. Which, in, in some strange form, it just might. Anyway! Whee! Okay, now let's see. This next area is not what I was expecting. However, I know that's a fake treasure chest. So we'll just ignore it. And ignore that guy too. I'm sick and tired of fighting shit, man. And that's a fake treasure chest too. See what I tell you. It's going to try and kill us. It's a fake. And there's also crabs. I'm going to do my best to avoid them. I'm sick and tired of killing shit. Quite frankly, it takes too long in these underwater sections. I mean, I said it in the last video, and apparently I forgot. Killing shit is boring in underwater segments. Because it takes so long. Mechanic Note 6. Yes. I can't even remember what the hell that's for. Then they killed me, though, if I remember... Or, no, wait. I, I think that's for the Zet Saber. Or the beam sword, whatever the hell it's called. Which unfortunately means I'm going to have to probably go and do the 100 question quiz and finally finish it. I mean, I haven't even gone and attempted it since I ended up failing it, you know, get 70 quite get like 80 questions right and then screw one up. And like, it's screw it. I'm not doing this. I mean, I know one part of me says, screw it, that quiz is evil. That treasure chest is fake. And I think I want to go this way. Crap, I forgot my way to the rest of this dungeon. Dumb. Well, thankfully, this is like near the end of the dungeon, so it's not like there are too many wrong. Okay, this is the way, or maybe not. Okay, we got crabs. We got an obviously fake treasure chest. Ah, and a real treasure chest in that corner right there. This is the way I wanted to go.
Now dash! Dash, and then chuck the crabs at each other. And flip that crab over. I'm not even gonna bother killing it. It's disabled. I really don't need to worry about killing it. Anyway, we now have another somewhat large sum of cash. We've gotten more cash in various places in this dungeon, but that's still pretty decent. Anyway, now, if I remember correctly, all that's left is the boss fight.